Good afternoon, everyone. Adam Holder here from the Ned Law Group, and welcome to another edition of Friday FAQ here at Ned Law Living Walls. It's been a while, but I'm back, and today I want to talk to you about municipal water disinfection. Good times. Now, I know a lot of you are probably familiar with chlorine being used as a disinfection method uh, for, for municipal water. Um, it's placed in the water at the source, and as it travels through the pipes, it makes sure that it's clean when it gets to you. Um, this has been used for, for years and years. And recently, they started using a chemical called chloramine, which is similar, um, does the same thing. It's more stable, and it's more of a superior method of disinfection. Well, the reason I care about that as a, as a plant guy, as a living wall person, uh, is because Chloramine is toxic to plants, severely toxic, in, in very low levels. Um, so if your municipality has, is using chloramine to disinfect the water, it's important to know that because it could be killing the plants that you have in your building, um, whether it be a living wall or a garden or e even things that are going on outside uh, your irrigation systems. So fortunately, it's a very simple fix. Uh, it's just an inline filter that's placed at the source that gathers up and removes all the chloramine from the water, but it's important to know that it's there and there is something that you can do about it. So I would have some testing done to see if chloramine is being used uh, for disinfection in your area, and if it is, um, reach out to a plumber or, or Ned Law could help you out um, and, and make sure that this is taken care of so that you're not suffering plant die off and not knowing why. I want to thank you for taking the time here again this afternoon for another edition of Friday FAQ. I'm Adam Holder. Have a great weekend.